What's she doing? Is that a problem? Should she be doing that? If you have cats, you might have noticed that they have some strange behaviors that you don't know quite what to make of. My name is Francisco, and on this channel I work with my three cats, Calypso, Skyfall, and Mr. Muffin, here, to help you improve the lives of your indoor cats. Do you want to get down? Do you want to get down or you want to stay? Okay, you can stay. All of our cats do odd things, but there are some things that are more common than others. We can only guess at the explanations for some of these behaviors because we're not cats, but some of them might indicate that there is a problem. But mostly they just show that there's a gap between our species. I'm sure that I do many strange things that they don't understand. Sky, for example, pulls on her back claws. It's a type of gnawing and tugging that seems sometimes rather violent. What is she doing and why? Cat's claws grow from the inside out, and as the outside sheath starts to wear away, the new sheath on the inside, which is a lot sharper, pushes the old one out. Now for their front claws, the cats help this process by scratching on scratching posts. But for the back claws, it's more difficult unless they climb a lot with their back claws, and an inside cat doesn't do that very much. So one of the ways that they do, they help with this process is by pulling on those sheets with their teeth to try to get them off. Most of the time it's not a problem and you shouldn't worry about it, but there's also the possibility that it's a medical or possibly a mental issue. There are some medical problems like ringworm which can cause irritation and itchiness which can lead to excessive pulling on their claws. It could also be a sign of boredom, stress, or anxiety. So if it's something new in your cat, you might look into those issues and see if there is a cause of stress that's new for the cat. Cats shed their claws every two or three months, so if it happens much more often than that, there might be a problem that you should look into. Here's another strange one. An adult cat suckling on a blanket or a soft toy. When they suckle on the blanket, they're also purring and kneading at the same time. Both Sky and Mr. Muffin do it. Sky very rarely on one of her very soft beds. Mr. Muffin more often, he gets on top of me when I'm wearing a wool sweater and starts to suckle on it. I don't have good video because I'm rarely prepared to take video when he does this. So why do they do this? Well, we really don't know. It seems like they're going back to a period when they were kittens, when they felt warm and safe uh, nursing on their mother. For kittens, it's a natural instinct. For adult cats, it seems to be a comforting type of behavior. Maybe they do it when they're stressed, but not necessarily. It also seems that cats that were separated from their mothers when they were very young do it more often. Mr. Muffin was... Um, abandoned when he was about three weeks old and he in my household at least is the one who does it the most so is adult suckling a problem for the most part no just let them do it but if you think that they're doing it because of some kind of stress you might look into trying to reduce whatever stress has entered into their lives there's also the possibility that they might be ingesting some of the fibers of the material that they're suckling on so make sure that whatever it is doesn't have long threads because long threads can be very dangerous to cats, especially if they get tangled up in their intestines, it can be a huge problem. If they have never done it before and suddenly start doing it, it might be a sign of a problem. Maybe they're in pain or maybe they are signaling that they need attention of some sort. One thing is sure that if they're suckling next to you, it's a sign of trust, that they feel safe and comfortable because when they're suckling, they get into the sort of zone that uh, wipes out everything around them. And so they're counting on you to protect them. Skyfall used to do something that I always found very odd. She would take soft toys and move them around the house. She still does it, but less often. I knew she was doing it because there would be some kind of yowling uh, going on, but she never let me see her actually do it, and if I approached, she would drop the toy. 
So I got her some soft toys of her own, put them in a basket or on the sofa, and inevitably they get moved. Again, we don't really know why cats do this, but we can take a couple of guesses. There are two primary situations where cats carry. One of them is during the hunting. When they catch something, they usually move it. They don't eat it right where they've caught it. They take it to a safe place. And the second situation is moving kittens. When a mother feels that there is a threat to the litter because uh, the, there's some danger to the nest, she will move the kittens. And if they're very young, she picks them up and carries them. It's easier than trying to herd them. Now, female cats do this even when they ha don't have kittens and they've been spayed. It's a type of instinct that seems to reemerge. I think that this is what might be happening with Skye. She's the only one that does this, and she's the only one of my cats that went into heat before she was spayed, when she was only four months old. It's also important not to project our feelings onto our cats. We think that maybe she wants kittens, or maybe she's missing them, but it might just be a residual instinct. We can't say. Whenever she starts yowling, I call her and she comes running. Sky. Come here. Does she want to play? Does she want comforting of some sort? Who knows? Now, many times I find these toys by the front door. So maybe it's nothing to do with kittens. Maybe it has to do with hunting behavior. And she is bringing these kinds of toys as if they were prey back to the litter, back to the home. And maybe her yowling is basically saying, come, take a look at what I brought. Take a look at what I've caught. Although I'm not sure about this because she always drops it when I come by and she tends to do this in secret. The toys by the front door always happen at night. I find them there in the morning. Now it's also possible that it's one of the other cats that's moving the toys to the front door. It's all a bit of a mystery. Now Mr. Muffin, he'll carry toys as if they were prey, but he always does it when he's playing and with him, it's definitely a strut of victory. What is he doing? He's not really scratching. He's pawing at a smooth surface. Why is he doing that? This is something that Mr. Muffin does frequently. He picks a vertical smooth surface and starts pawing at it. It's definitely not a grooming thing because he is not uh, using his nails like he would a scratching post. The other cat that I know that does this is Fluffy, who belongs to my friend Jenny. And both Mr. Muffin and Fluffy are males, so it's maybe it's a male thing. I don't know. If you have female cats that do this kind of behavior, let me know. One thing that we do know about cats is that they have scent glands on their paws. And it's possible that by rubbing and pawing at something, they are leaving their scent on it and marking it. Here, Mr. Muffin is in the cage, a space he normally does not go into. So he might be taking the opportunity to put his scent in this space and marking it as his own. If you want to know more about this cage, I have a video about it and I will put a link in the description below. It's also possible that he might be doing this just for fun because he likes the smoothness of the texture. Or they could be sending us a message here. Jenny's cat Fluffy is definitely sending us a message which is let me out. Now if your cat is doing this obsessively it also could be a sign of stress, a type of obsessive compulsive behavior. So take a look around and see if things have changed that might be causing your cat stress or anxiety. If your cat does strange things that I have not covered please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Calypso, on the other hand, doesn't have any weird behaviors beyond what she does when she's on catnip. And if you're interested in how cats react to catnip, you gotta watch this video, which I'm going to link right here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.